No, like, and there's some real joy to be had there, especially if you take it playfully. Well, yeah, and and it's like it's been you. The only way you're gonna really learn how like women think and operate and and uh, uh, and function is by being around them. Like you can't read it in a textbook. Like yeah. you can't, you can't. Like I mean, as much as guys like us can can sort of teach younger dudes. Okay, well, this is kind of like how like these are some truisms. You need to sort of have tactile experience with it and yes like like seducing women and having sex with them and getting into relationships with them is one way of doing that so that's but really interesting having like having a social circle of of, uh, of female friends that you take to the club or something you know what i mean like guys who are like uh, um, club promoters i mean they're probably banging all the chicks they, they take to clubs anyway but you get what i'm going with this sure yeah. now now you've come to the red pill in the last few years you you've probably been pretty savvy knowing your background with female and male interdynamics, you know, I notice a lot of guys come about the red pill in a, a trauma situation where they've had been deeply hurt. Mm. And, you know, when you've been deeply hurt, you get some scar tissue and you lash out. I see a lot of that lingering with a lot of our, our group too, which I think has to be, you have to kind of grieve through that and get past it. And when you do, you really get an appreciation for women. You don't have that kind of, no, I'll never do this. No, I'll never do that. You're a this, you're a that. Yeah. You can, you can know them. You don't have to trust them, but you can appreciate them for what they are. Yeah, it's a pretty good thing.